Today, we're gonna be reviewing this Karel and the M14 and you know why that is guys? You know why that is? Because it's time to review them. Because why not? And we have new skins, the Geo Fortress. New skin, 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 sticka, ticka, 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 boom, boom. Did you know by the way that I have a punching bag in the room? Geo Fortress! <laughs> so, I definitely need some exercise. So Geo Fortress Karel M14. This is how they look. They have a nice red purple-ish finish. And uh, basically this is what you can get from this event. You can also get uh, this ornament and the spray. But the focus is obviously on this Karel and the M14. <sighs> Still like catching my breath. And uh, actually, one spin costs you 60 bonds, okay? 60 tokens or bonds. And if you multiply that with 40, which is the guaranteed number of spins you need to get the Scarel, you're gonna end up having to spend 2,400 tokens, which in my opinion is getting close to the price which I'm expecting. Looking at the guns in detail, you're gonna see this red finish with a bit of black, with a bit of purple here and there. And you know, the, the, the front of the gun looks a bit goldish. I think this is definitely one of the nice ones. Same story with the M14. This is a bit more purplish. And one fun fact, the skin comes with the 20 round mag, but it's not applying to the 30 round mag, which is, I don't know why. And I would have loved if we get a skin for a scope as well for getting the M14, because who is gonna play the M14 without a scope? So for 2,400 bonds, you can get the Scarrel, the M14, the ornament, the spray, and military coins, so let's go! This is a good deal, guys. And in case you wonder how you can spend those military supply coins, then you just wanna hop over here and you can buy some of these, I would say, pretty common things. I would love to buy the, the, the goggles, you know, the, the, the ski goggles, um, which we had in the past, the orange ones. I'm, I'm missing them. So let's review these bad boys. And in the first two games, I'm going to talk about the M14, which is, in my opinion, as said previously, I think it was season three where I said the M14 is competing hard against the M110. And I still think that's the case. I've been trying the gun on TV station. Don't judge me for that. I think it's not the best choice for TV station. Like, why would you pick up such a rifle for TV station? I still did just because I play TV station a lot nowadays. Anyways, I had more or less success. I did a very nasty kill <laughs> in the loading area or warehouse area. But then um, after I found um, another weapon, like an automatic rifle, Assault Rifle, I was switching to that and I'm gonna tell you why because I don't really trust in M14 that much at least not at TV station and not at this level because come on guys in most cases kind of you peak and you are dead and with the M14 you simply don't have time um, so if you wanna play M14 go Valley, go Northridge, go Ford eventually but TV station please don't follow my example but i still feel it's a strong gun i didn't attach a suppressor at the i mean as a muzzle because um it doesn't come with the skin so it's not gonna be painted it's not gonna be red uh but if you play m14 i would definitely recommend that because it's really hard for the enemy to understand where the shots are coming from if you have noise suppression so definitely go for that and uh, pick the highest like ammunition possible. That's basically true for every of the snipers we have in the game because in most cases, you're gonna have just one shot, one chance, either do a headshot or you die. Interesting fun fact about the second game is that yes, I again found another weapon, which was a vector. So I picked it up with a 2x zoom. And the funny moment here was that I was pushing against that squad and I killed myself. I killed myself because I jumped. And because of that jump, I died. I wanted to quickly escape. I jumped and I died. But M14, yeah, it's a good gun. 
I would say it's 8 out of 10 in overall, whereas the M110 would be 9 out of 10. Alrighty, now we're gonna talk about this car, which I don't like. I just simply don't like it. I don't like it because the firing rate is tack, 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 and the enemy's weapon, the AR, the M4 or whatever, is like, and you're dead. And if you combine that firing rate with the semi-decent A1 bullets, then the outcome is gonna be trash. You're gonna be weak. I have proof for that. I was shooting that guy. I think he had T5, but still I was shooting. And he didn't die. Like, come on. So, I don't like this carrier. You can, you know, leave me comments if you think I'm, I'm, I'm playing it wrong. But for TV station, or no, any of the maps, I don't like this carrier because I feel weak. I cannot push with this carrier. The only, the only scenario what I can think of is that if you have a 4x zoom or 6x zoom, uh, 6x zoom, 6x zoom attached on your Scarrel and you're scouting. But even for that, um, I, I think there are better choices. Something very weird was going on when I played with this Scarrel because I entered this staircase and, and basically the wall shot me. Look at that. I, I was searching for the enemy. I knew it's a bot, but... But the bot just wasn't there. That bot was either invisible or stuck in the wall. So basically it transformed my Scarrel into a cursed Scarrel. For me, it, it didn't really work out. But hey, I kept trying and I was able to finish somebody from a close distance with my Scarrel, a guy without a helmet. And then I was able to shoot somebody from behind. The guy wasn't shooting back. He had MP5s, two of them to be more precise, uh, and I could extract with approximately 200,000 with this lovely Scarra, uh, but, you know, it didn't make me want to play this gun. I love the skin. The skin looks really nice, in my opinion, and it's, like, almost affordable for many. So, that's that, that part is fine, but Scarra, for me, mm, it's not that recommended. I would give it a 6 out of 10, where I feel the fall is the 9 or 10 out of 10, and the M4 is like the 8 out of 10. For me, the Scarrel falls a bit behind, but I would love to hear your opinion, guys, so start spamming the comment section with, with, with all your thoughts on what you feel about the M14, the Scarrel, or any of the other guns. And let me know if you want me to do additional weapon reviews. If that's the case, then let me know which gun you want me to review. Geo Fortress, Geo Fortress, Geo Fortress. Shady out. Bye.